So this is the Mini 3. And this is Madeira. I mean, come on. Come on, like, what is this place? You guys know I'm all about convenience when I'm traveling, right? How about this for convenience? I just got that out of my pocket. Like, <laughs> bro, they're making these just like absurdly small now. See, that's probably one of the best things about the Mini or the Mini line of drones is efficiency. And the fact that you can just transport it very, very easily everywhere you go, whether you're traveling or you're out and about, you can fit it in your pocket. like. It's, it's tiny. When you're traveling and you're doing things like this, you don't need to lug big things. You want to be efficient, which is what I always say. Efficiency is key. So Ollie's getting some pictures, but we have got a slight problem. Tourists everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. It's a problem, mate. <laughs> what do you do? Right, content aware Phil, that's what we got to do. Okay, so I've just made it to one of the most unbelievable viewpoints of Madeira. Um, I just, I'm lost for words here, right? When I turn this camera around, look at this. <laughs> Bro, we're like above the clouds. Like, look at this. I mean, come on. You're kidding me right now. Oh, he's done it. He's oh, it's beautiful. One. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. See? Wow. Oh, got like the lens flare, everything. Yeah. <laughs> I left the camera on, mate. <laughs> the sunset colours are coming through. This is ridiculous. How does this place exist? Look at this. Right, so the sun is going down. I hope you guys did like those drone shots of this hike. Uh, I filmed all of that in 4K30 on the Mini 3. Now, quickly, let's talk controller because I'm a massive fan of these controllers, these new controllers that have the screen built in. Absolutely love them. The fact of the matter is you don't have to put your iPhone in. So if you're flying your drone and you get a text and a call, which used to annoy me, if I was flying my drone and someone used to call me, mate, just, so annoying now they've put this screen into the controller i don't fly drones with thumbsticks as you know and some of you have flamed me for this in my previous videos now they've kind of changed the mechanism i would say of the thumbsticks it's more like an fpv remote so now i have no option so i have to fly with thumbsticks so that is one of the i'd say drawbacks for me because i quite like that rolling mechanism because it just felt like a lot smoother when i used to fly drones but yeah, and there's another feature you can do on this, which you can actually darken and lighten the screen by just scrolling up and down like you would on an iPhone, which is really cool. So all in all, I'm a big fan of this controller. I've never had an issue with the uh, the size of them either. So 
yeah, big dub for DJI in that department, I would say. Okay, so some differences between the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 2. So they do weigh the exact same. There's no size difference, but there are two differences that I would say would make me want to use this over the Mini 2 at this current time is the fact that it does vertical video. So the gimbal actually flips to vertical video so you can film reels, TikTok, stuff like that. As we all know, uh, Instagram is becoming more of a video platform, so that's quite handy. You'll be able to shoot vertical video with this drone. Also, sensors at the front and at the bottom, maybe you can see there, but has sensors so that if you are flying through things, if you're close to objects, if you're trying to get some cool dynamic shots going through rocks and trees and all sorts, you know you've got sensors. So it's that peace of mind that you're not going to crash into anything, which the Mini 2 didn't have. And touch wood, never crashed a drone, maybe apart from that one time. Okay, let's talk a little bit about battery life. Now, the batteries that you get with these, the standard batteries, flight time's around 34 minutes, but then you can buy the Pro batteries, which have a flight time of 44 minutes or 43 minutes to be exact, which is the same as the Mavic 3, which is crazy. I don't know if I've ever flown a drone for like 43 minutes. I think I'd get a bit bored to be honest. So if you buy the Pro batteries, the only thing that it will do is that it will take this drone actually out of the weight category of 249 grams, which could pose a problem depending on like the drone laws in your area, I guess. But all in all, I think 35 minutes for standard batteries. If you get three of these, usually I take about two or three batteries out with me with my drone. I just got splashed. It's about an hour, an hour and a half worth of drone flying, which is pretty good, I would say, for a small drone uh, like this. I tell you what, when I get back from this trip, I'm gonna have to spend a good like two or three days in bed recovering, because my legs are like jelly right now. We've been to like, I think like seven different locations, been here for like four days, uh, and my legs are feeling it. Feels like I'm walking into a horror film scene right now. Oh, well, that's not good. This is muddy as shit. FYI, this is probably one of the most iconic locations, I would say, that you can go to in Madeira because of these insane conditions. Every single angle I turn just looks like a cinematic horror film shot. It's insane. This is probably one of my, actually I'd say this is my favorite location of Madeira. Just the whole vibe about it is so, so cool yet quite scary. It's basically just a forest submerged in a cloud. Now, let's talk sensors. I have been getting some really cool drone shots while here in this location, flying through the trees, flying through the fog, just to see how well the sensors on the Mini works. Now, I would say these work a little bit too well because whenever I was close to anything, whether it be a tree or a branch, and I was keeping my eye on the drone at all times, it was beeping and having a go at me, being like, you're too close, you're too close, move me away. Now, for those of you that have made it to the video this far, I'm gonna put on the screen my gimbal settings for cinematic drone shots, because I actually use three modes when I'm flying this. You've got normal mode, you've got cinematic mode, and you've got sport mode. A lot of the time when I'm in places like this, where there's quite a lot of, I'd say, obstacles, I'm always shooting in cine mode. And then if I'm in bigger open locations, I'll be shooting in sport. So I will put on the screen my gimbal settings for cinematic video. These are the gimbal settings I have been using on all of my drones and I have dialed in these gimbal settings on pretty much every drone that I have because it worked really well for me. So give it a try. I'll put all the settings and all the numbers on screen so you guys can see. And hopefully when you fly, it might work for you. Now the image quality on this drone when looking back at the footage is very, very good. I was impressed with the Mini 2. I'm more impressed with the Mini 3 simply because it's, I feel like it's on par with some Mavic drones. Like the image quality is extremely good and it doesn't look like fuzzy or muggy at some stages. I know with the Mini 2, sometimes if you're flying it in somewhat low light conditions, it does look a bit if. When I've flown it out here, especially at dark sunsets or blue hour, footage looks amazing. A star for the image quality in the drone. And it has a 43 megapixel image sensor, I think. I'm not the best drone photographer. I don't really take drone pictures a lot. I probably should do. But this drone photo that I took of Ollie in the forest 
It's very good, especially in like these low light kind of foggy conditions, picks up very good detail. Okay, so we are just about to embark on our final hike of the trip, Pico Ruvio, if I've pronounced that correctly. Look at these conditions, pretty much hiking into a cloud right now, but this is our last destination or hike from our entire trip in Madeira. So hopefully we get a nice little sunset. I didn't bring a hoodie or a warm change of clothes because the higher up the peak you get, the colder it gets. And I was just hiking in a t-shirt and I was so cold. Okay, so this mountain in front of me, right there is where we were the other day. Well, second day in. Now we're pretty much on the other side. The sun is gonna be setting that way. The time is 6.27, so we've got an hour until the sun starts to go down. How about this for an outro view? Come on. This whole video has just been insane views, insane locations, and what a way to end it off. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have made it this far, hit the subscribe button because this video has taken me about a week to make. So I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. It helps out a lot more than you think. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace.